Morning. Welcome to Morning Devotion with KT. Today is the 12th of May. We're going to look at a verse of scripture today from the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 33. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Of Zebulon, 50,000 experienced troops fitted out with all kinds of weapons and instruments of war that could order and set the battle in array. Men not of double purpose, but stable and trustworthy. God is telling us three things today. Number one, experience is good. In fact, it's extremely important. Hence the reference to 50,000 experienced troops. Sometimes in order to get experience, we might consider working for free, voluntary internships, especially for those of us who are not yet working, so that we can learn and grow, and then you can get the ability to earn more pay. And if you're already in employment, sometimes you need to look not at how much you're being paid, but how much you're learning and growing, and by extension, how it increases your ability to earn pay down the line. If you're running a business, it's the same consideration, not just how much you're going to get, but the kind of exposure you're getting that can give you experience and help you down the line to add more value and get more money. The second thing is that you need to embrace technology. Why do I say that? In the time the book of Chronicles was written, the reference to weapons and instruments of war speak of technology. It says there were weapons and instruments of war that could set the battle in array. Life is war, business is war. So it's important that we embrace technology. It's extremely important. It's very good. It's good to be savvy with technology, both as an employer, an employee, or business owner. Even for those of us who are doing church, etc., using technology now is just an absolute yes, yes, yes. We must learn to use Zoom, go to meetings, Microsoft meetings, Facebook party, etc. Number three and the last, men not of double purpose, but stable and trustworthy. There must be a stability and consistency to both our service as individuals, our product and services as a company, and our general, you know, performance. The thing is, I remember my late uncle, paternal uncle, as far as I recall, used one brand of car back to back, first, second, third, only one, Mercedes Benz. I was close to him, conversations with him revealed that there was a reliability to the brand. Is there reliability to you as a brand? Is there reliability to your business as a brand? I think we should pray today. Let's pray. Say, Father, help me to be stable, trustworthy, and reliable. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's also pray for those who are looking to get work. Father, grant grace to those who are searching for employment to learn to grow and get better and get the right kind of experience. Let them grow, get better, get the right kind of experience. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lastly, let's pray for business owners and managers too. Father, let there be consistency to the products and services we offer as business owners and managers. Father, let there be consistency to the products and services we offer as business owners and managers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's thank God for answered prayers. Father, we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you for your time. Have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye.